One of the projects that you'll find on the SolidWorks curriculum and courseware DVD involves the design of a trebuchet. You'll actually find two separate curriculum documents with that project. One is developed by us at SolidWorks that takes you through the process of designing and building the trebuchet. The second is more of a scientific approach, uh, going into the physics and the mathematics behind the trebuchet, and that curriculum is furnished by Gears EDS. Gears EDS is also a company that provides the kits required to build the trebuchet that you see right here on the screen. So if you wanted to actually create this project and build it in the classroom and, uh, and throw these projectiles all over the place, you could get those kits directly from them. What we're doing here is just simulating the Gears EDS trebuchet through Cosmos Motion and everything down to the, um, uh, the friction on the weights to, uh, to the actual um, sliding and 3D contact of the projectile against the, uh, the target blocks that I've set up there. If I switch over to my Cosmos Motion Manager, you'll immediately see the, uh, the path of our trajectory or of the projectile, and we can move our time slider to any point in time to see exactly where that component is in relation to the target, in relation to uh, other components on the trebuchet, and we can even bring up some very interesting graphs. So if we're teaching a physics class, for example, it might be interesting to show the conservation of potential in, uh, or of energy, so as the potential energy increases, as the projectile goes through that arc, uh, the kinetic en energy decreases. So it's slowing down as it gets higher and higher. But of course, as it starts to fall, it's accelerating, so it's speeding up again. And we can ex explore the transfer of energy. We can study impact forces and all sorts of things directly here inside of Cosmos Motion. Something else that's of particular interest to people designing trebuchets would be to study the, uh, the different forces acting on this counterweight from the throwing mechanism. Uh, what we want to be able to do is time the object or time the release of our projectile so that it coincides with one of those uh, major spikes in energy that you see right here. And those happen every time the, uh, the, the weight has to rapidly change direction, transfers a great deal of energy throughout the throwing arm, and basically gives a little extra kick to the throwing motion of the trebuchet. So if you're um, if you're trying to design this for uh, optimal distance or, or efficiency, uh, those, are kind, those are the kinds of things in that machine design aspect that you'd have to look at to, uh, to get the right design. I'll hide that plot. and reset the mechanism right back to where we started.